In this video, we are going to talk about Mars through the Nakshatra of Punarvasu, Pada symbolism, and more. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahadani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic astrology. And if you want to learn Vedic astrology, join my three hours free training. Link is in the description. And today we are going to talk about Mars into the Nakshatra of Punarvasu. What is Mars? We have already made a separate video on what is Mars, what it signifies in Vedic astrology. But let me summarize it quickly for those who are new to this subject or those who are new to this channel. Okay, So Mars is your energy, vitality, your competitive spirit can be seen with Mars. Mars is your disciplined nature. Mars shows your ability to go out and conquer what you want in life. Mars doesn't like to cooperate. Mars doesn't like to depend on others. Mars is not about relationships. Mars is about being independent and aggressive, competitive, brave to get things in life. In celestial theme, it is considered as the commander in chief of the celestial army. Sun is the king, moon is the queen, Mercury is the prince. And Jupiter can be uh, general, but Mars is commander. Now, this commander comes into the nakshatra of Punarvasu. What is Punarvasu nakshatra? What it signifies? Okay, again, we have already made a separate video on that. You can go and check that as well. But Punarvasu nakshatra ranges from 20 degrees of Gemini to the 3 degrees 20 minutes of Cancer. It has four padas. Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. Two of these padas are Vargottam and one is Pushkarnavamsha. Buddharvasu nakshatra is Dasha ruled by Jupiter. Deity associated with this nakshatra is Aditi, which is the mother of creation, mother of gods, mother of Adityas. The symbolism associated with Buddharvasu nakshatra is bow and arrow. What is arrow? Arrow shows movement, arrow shows ideals. Arrow shows aim, arrow shows movement, arrow shows resources at your disposal. Like I will take a bow, with, I will take an arrow and you know aim for something. This is a weapon at my disposal. These are the resources at my disposal. I can hunt, I can get the food, I can get the resources, I can kill my enemies, I can protect my family. That's what arrow does. That's that's what Punarvasu Nakshatra is all about. Punarvasu Nakshatra is about nurturing, protection, and winning. The literal meaning of the word Punar is re. And Vasu is you know the deity Vasu, which we discussed in uh, the nakshatras. You would go and watch those. So Punarvasu is the literal meaning is being good again, being divine again. So Punarvasu is a journey towards the self, the journey from the destruction of the Ardra towards the nurturing, healing and creation of the self. The Punarvasu nakshatra is a nurturing nakshatra. Punarvasu nakshatra is more about providing, is protecting. Okay. Another thing about this uh, Punarvasu nakshatra is ideals. Punarvasu nakshatra is resembles with the fiery Sagittarius sign as well at times. You will see this bow and arrow with the Sagittarius as well. So, so Punarvasu nakshatra resembles, resonates well with the Sagittarius, the fiery nature of the Sagittarius, wherein that Jupiterian ruled sign is looking for higher ideals. Punarvasu is the journey of the self ascending into the greater self. That's what Punarvasu nakshatra is. Becoming the divine, becoming that divine again is Punarvasu. That's the journey. Punarvasu nakshatra has some connection with doing things again. The name itself has Punar. The word Punar resembles with doing it again. So Punarvasu nakshatra has some resonance with number two. 
twins, doing it twice, double, anything to do with two, Kunarasu Nakshatra can connect with that. You would see this connection of two twins twice with Kunarasu Nakshatra. Surprisingly, you would see that people with this nakshatra as a prominent nakshatra might fail at first attempt and might succeed into the second attempt, the punar, again, the twice, the second attempt. Okay, So, this is also an interesting thing about the punar vasu nakshatra. Now, what happens when Mars comes into the punar vasu nakshatra? Mars is the planet of energy and discipline. The planet of energy and discipline comes into the nakshatra, which is about nurturing, comfort, all the Cancerian things. So here, Mars feel distracted. Mars is a disciplined soldier. But when he is comforted, it's like he gets all the things at his disposal, comfort. But that's not what soldier is looking for. Soldier lives minimal life. His resources are minimal. And he's ready for fight. He's ready for the combat. But when he gets comfort, he gets into the comfort zone and lose the discipline. Not good for Mars. So, when Mars comes into the Punar Vasu Nakshatra, these people have to focus on discipline. These people have to keep telling themselves to be disciplined. Mars is the planet of sibling. The planet of sibling comes into the Nakshatra of nourishment. So, these people have great bond with their siblings. They have their great bond with their brothers and friends. And they can do anything, go out of the way to help them, to do things for their brothers and siblings and friends. Pudarabhasu Nakshatra has the power to protect. Pudarabhasu Nakshatra has the power to heal. So, the planet of energy comes into the nakshatra of healing and protection. So these people are protected. These people put in energy to help and protect their family. We all do. But these people go on to the next level, out of their way to help the friends and family uh, in a unique way. And not only their friends and family, but they are ready to help other people as well. If somebody comes and asks for help, they will do it happily. These people have to start their life all over again once in their life. What do I mean by that? For example, let's say they move to some other country. Okay, A person just migrated from one country to another country. Now, it doesn't matter how much money you had back in your native place. Now you have to start all over again. You have to start investing in people. You have to start investing time in understanding the culture. You have to start all over again. So when Mo when Mars comes into the nakshatra of Punar Vasu, you have to put in all the energy again to start your life or profession. Okay. Now Mars also represents real estate and land and building. The planet of land and building comes into the nakshatra, which is about nourishment, which is about fulfillment. Now, this pe these people have tendency to invest into the real estate. These people like to invest into the land and building. Okay. Now, Mars also represents your male friends for a man. And it also represents male friends for a woman as well. But... When Mars comes into the Punar Vasu Nakshatra, these people are blessed with good friends, but these friends might be from a different culture. Okay. Now, this Nakshatra has four Padas. The first Pada of this Nakshatra goes into Aries. Now, Mars coming into the sign of Gemini comes into the Aries Nakshatra. Here, Mars is more adventurous. The, the planet of Mars comes into the sign of Aries. These people are curious and more so adventurous and want to explore things. That, that child 
in the Aries wants to explore things, is curious about almost everything. And now he puts in energy into all those things. The second para of this nakshatra goes into the Taurus Navamsha. Taurus is ruled by Venus, is a fixed sign. Okay, and now this nakshatra is more about the earthy things. This is more grounded nakshatra, and these people, particularly this pada, these people are more aggressive when it comes to family. They are always ready to protect their family and go to any extent to protect their families. They put in a lot of energy into this task. Because second house is the fixed sign. Now the planet of Mars comes into this Navamsha. Okay. Now the third pada of this Navamsha, excuse me, third pada of this nakshatra goes into the Gemini Navamsha. Okay. And this is Vargottam pada. Here Mars is more intellectual. Okay. Mars also represents engineering or logical thinking. The planet of logical thinking comes into the nakshatra, into the pada, which is more about intellectual things, more about intellectual and uh, intelligent things. So these people are very good with engineering, you know, building things, creating things, anything to do with engineering, these people can excel at. Okay, now the fourth pada of this nakshatra goes into the Cancer Navamsha. This is Pushkar Navamsha, and this is also the Vargottam Navamsha, the Cancer sign, Cancer Navamsha. And when Mars comes in here, Mars gets debilitated. You know, Mars doesn't feel focused on his goal because of the distraction, because of the comfort of the Cancer. And how they can make most out of this placement? They have to stay disciplined. But at the same time, let's say if it is conjunct with Jupiter, then it cancels out this. And then this Mars gets the guidance of the Jupiter into this Pada can excel. These people would be able to achieve the highest material success. Because now this Mars is getting that nourishment, getting that strength. And now it is focused enough to achieve its goal, its material goals. Okay, so yes, this was Mars into the nakshatra of Punarvasu. As much as I could hold, grasp, and share with you guys, if you want to learn Vedic astrology step by step, join this, watch this two videos on your screen. And if you want to learn Vedic astrology, join my three hours free workshop. Link is in the description. Sending you tons of positive energy, sending you high vibes. See you in the next videos. Love and peace. Namaste.